All right, in this video, we are going to review how to describe a distribution. So we want to make sure we're using this acronym CSOX, and each letter represents a different piece to your explanation. We would have the context, shape, outliers, center, and spread. Your explanation needs to have all five pieces to be complete and correct. So the context is what variable is being measured. What is the graph or the data about? For the shape, you're describing what it looks like. Is there a skew? Is it symmetric? And what is the mode? For the outlier, you're describing if there were any unusual points in your data. The center is where the middle of your data lies, and it would include the mean, the median, and just a general description of what the center is. And finally, the spread is your range, your IQR, and your standard deviation. And this represents how spread out the data is or what the variability in the data is. So we're going to go through each of these and do a couple examples. So to start with shape, there are a couple ways that you can describe this. The first being our skew. We'd have a right skew where our center is here, and it kind of goes up and then down to the right. A symmetric graph is going to have an even distribution on both sides of the center. And a left skew would have the center here, and then the data would fall to the left. The mode represents where the most, so where like the highest peak of the data is. Unimodal is going to have just one peak, one center here, and it's going to be distributed on both sides. Bimodal is going to have two peaks. It will go up and down, up and down again. These are a couple of examples of some common distributions. Uniform and symmetrical is when there's no variation. They're all going to be the same values. We have skewed right, skewed left, symmetrical, and this would also be unimodal. Bimodal, because there are two peaks here. And symmetrical, because it's even on both sides. And then bimodal, because we have two distinct peaks. It's okay that they're not exactly the same height, but we do see it goes up, down, and then back up again. And this one is skewed right. Again, a couple examples. Skewed right, skewed left, bimodal and symmetrical, and symmetrical. So your turn. Describe the shape of this data set. It may help you to put this on a dot plot. So this is going to be symmetrical. It's pretty spread out about the same distance on each side. And it is unimodal, the mode being at 10. So once you've decide, described the shape, now you're going to describe outliers. So outliers are unusual points in your data. You're going to have a cluster where most of your data is, and then this huge gap where there's nothing, and then your outlier. So some examples here, your cluster, your gap, and your outlier. We have our data spread out on a, um, on a scatter plot here, and your output outlier is away from that line of best fit. And then on a dot plot here, using our um, box plots. So we'll learn about the IQR rule to prove outliers. Um, so we have our cluster here, our gap, and then our outliers here. You can have more than one outlier 
if he used the IQR rule to prove it mathematically. So determine if there are any outliers in this data set. If you use that IQR rule, you'll see there is no outlier. So now we're going to find the mean and the median, and we use this to describe the center, where most of the data is. To find the mean, you're going to add all the values and divide by how many values you have. So we're going to use this data here that represents a couple different salaries. This is the formula for the mean, where we have x bar representing the mean. And this means to sum all of our values and divide. So I write out all of my values, I add them up, and I'm going to divide by 12 because that's how many values I have here. I add up and I get 601 divided by 12. 50.1 is the mean. My next one is to find the median. You're going to order the numbers from least to greatest, super important here, and then find the middle value. So I now organized my numbers from least to greatest, and I'm going to find the middle by crossing them off from low to high. So here, my median is in the middle of 34 and 35. I'm going to add those up, divide by 2, and I get 34.5 is the median. So find the center of this data set. The mean here is 10, and the median is also 10. Now we're going to find the spread and describe it. The spread has three pieces, the range, the IQR, and the standard deviation. And we're going to use that same data set that we used to find the mean and the median. So to find the range, our range is just our maximum number minus the minimum number, and it represents the spread from beginning to end. So our max is 185, and our minimum is 29. So our range is 156. So our next job is to find the standard deviation. This is the formula for standard deviation, and it represents the typical distance of a value from the mean. We know from the last one that our mean is about 50, 50.1. So we are going to think of like how far away are each of these values from that mean. That's what this represents. And I can use Staplet or Desmos to find that. And when I do that, it's going to tell me that the standard deviation is 43.61. On average, each salary is $43,000 away from that mean. And our last piece here is the interquartile range, our IQR. And this is the spread of the middle 50% of the data. And we would use this whenever we have outliers so that we can ignore the influence of those outliers. To find the IQR, I'm going to find the median first. I know from the last one that my median was 34.5. So that's my median. And then I'm going to find the quartiles for each half. So I start here, my Q1, and my Q3. Q1 is 34, my median is 34.5, my Q3 is 41, and my IQR is Q3 minus Q1, 
41 minus 34. If you need a, um, a review on any of these, watch the individual video for these topics. So 41 minus 34, my IQR is going to be 7. So go ahead and describe the spread of this data set. Here, the IQR is 10. All right. So last check here. Describe the distribution of this data set. And here's your answer.